Okay, on to part two. So I've downloaded or gotten a copy of this video off of the camera down to my computer. Now let's switch over to iMovie and we're right in our current project. Um, I'm going to do file and import and then it gives me some options here and I want to import movies. That just means I have a copy of this movie somewhere on my hard drive. Alright, so let's go see if we can't find it. So I'm going to click on my um, home spot here and I'm going to just scroll down and look under movies. Okay, and you'll see that by default the flip video camera has created a folder inside of my movies folder and uh, they've named it flip shared data so I'm going to click on that and it puts a few things in there and there's one folder called videos and that's where I'm going to find the videos um, that I've transferred from my computer now there's a bunch of them in there and uh, I am not sure which one of these it is so um, I'm going to run back to the flip camera for a second and I can see um, this video. I don't know um, which one that is. So uh, let's see if we can't decide here in iMovie if we can get a little help. So um, I would like to see more info about that. Hmm. Okay, so it's the very last one there. Um, I can just select it and it gives me a little preview over here. It also tells me when it was created, meaning when it was downloaded. So I can see that that one um, was the last one that was created. There it is. That's the one that I want. If I want to check to make sure, I can see these other ones that are in there. But that's the one I want. And it says, should I add to an existing event? And I do have an event in there already created called the EMED temperature um, event. So that just keeps everything together. That's not required. It just keeps them together. And I'm going to have it make a copy of the file. So it's going to move a copy of that video from that folder, or make a copy, and put it into the iMovie folder. Now that means there's a there's duplicates. So um, that takes up more room on my hard drive. If I chose move, then it would move it out of the flip folder and it would no longer be available in the flip share software. So if I wanted to email it or do anything else with the video, I couldn't. So just you want to know what your options are. Um, move makes it so you only have one copy of this, but it's no longer available in the flip share. That might not be important. Um, copy gives you two copies of this video, but it's still available in both places. So I'm going to say copy it and it's going to do a little import there and it might take just a second to process this. Now as you remember in, here in iMovie um, I've got this event window that comes up here and let me just pull this down so I can see more of it and I've selected this event that's where I told the video to go. Mm -hmm. I can see the video that's already in there um, from the document camera and now I've got this new piece of video that is showing up, this new clip. And if I put my mouse over it, I can see it's a minute and four seconds long. That's that's what I expect. And I want to use this as part of this current project. So um, if I click up here, whoops, didn't mean to double click. Um, if I click up there, I get this yellow handle, um, this yellow selection. So I can, if I don't want all of it, I can use the handles here just to drag and I can watch over there in the uh, monitor window and just capture just the part of this um, that I want to, to, to make part of my project. Okay, So let's say I want that much of it and then uh, I just put my cursor inside of there anywhere inside that clip and it turns into that uh, white hand that means that's I'm over an area that I can grab and drag so I think that I want this um, clip it after my document camera video but before the title so I'm just gonna put my cursor up there grab that move it down and when I'm in between you can see I get a vertical green bar 
So that means I'm in between. So I'm going to drop it right there. Okay, and you notice it pushed my title down exactly the right amount, but it didn't push the audio down that goes with my sort of my ending. So I'm just going to grab that audio, drag it down, get it back where I kind of wanted it. And I can even adjust it if it doesn't need to be quite as long. So that's when the audio starts playing. Okay, so I've added that video there. Now I can still edit it if I want to. Um, you know, if I, if I look at it and I decide I don't want all of it, I can still use these yellow handles to select the portion that I want to keep or that I want to delete either way. So I'm going to sort of select maybe I got a little nine second or seven second spot in here that I want to remove. So I get my cursor around it. And if I go up to the edit menu, um, you can see that I can do this thing that says trim to selection. That means it would remove everything except what was selected. Okay, and I'd only be left with that little tiny piece. A little farther up, it says delete selection, which means it would remove that little piece. So a little bit more editing there, um, or editing capabilities there in iMovie um, for you. So that is the way to get that video in, or get an, a piece of video in from the flip camera. In the next uh, tutorial, we'll talk about getting this project exported out.